little bit of time before we start this craft to tell you about the artist and the artwork that this project is based on. Because the quick craft won't make a lot of sense if you've never seen it before. So let's jump into that before we get started. This week's art project is inspired by a painting called Holidays. This was painted in 1973 by artist Grace Hardigan. And Hardigan is an abstract artist. And what that means is she may not paint things exactly the way they look in real life. When you first take a look at this painting, you might think, well, what is it? What does this have to do with a holiday? So with abstract artists, they can pull things from their imagination, or maybe they want to capture a specific emotion or memory attached to some place or something or some feeling. But whatever they paint, it doesn't necessarily have to look like real life. For example, an abstract artist, instead of painting a realistic looking tree, an abstract artist might paint a big green streak going across the canvas. What Hardigan does is she uses different symbols to represent different things. And a symbol is just an object or an icon that represents something else. So let's see what icons or objects we can find in the painting. In the top right corner, I think I see a butterfly, and at the very bottom of the page, maybe some hearts. And what these icons or symbols might represent is a holiday, or maybe things that reminded Hardigan of a holiday. Take a closer look and see what shapes you can find, and see if you can make some kind of story out of that. Once you've had a good look, let's move on into our project. So for this project, we will be recreating our own abstract art piece in the style of Grace Hardigan's Holidays. So just like she did, we will start with thinking of a specific holiday or maybe a memory associated with a specific holiday. I'll be choosing Christmas because it's my favorite holiday and every year my family goes to Disney World for Christmas. So as you can see, I am using a black Sharpie and I encourage you to use a black or dark colored marker as well to really mimic that style of Grace Hardigan's. Um, I started off by drawing with a pencil first just because I'm kind of bad at knowing how much space I have on a piece of paper and wanted to make sure I had enough space to fit everything that I wanted to draw. So as you can see, I've drawn a Mickey head, a camera, because my mom loves taking pictures, some Christmas lights as decorations, all kinds of things. So you think of other symbols or icons or things that you could draw that remind you of the holiday that you chose. Once you've completed your black outline drawing, it's time to move on to the watercolor painting. So before you start with your watercolor paints, you might want to let the marker dry for a little bit. If not, it could bleed when you put the water on it and make it look smudgy and streaky. And you might not want that look. And if you used a pencil, you might want to erase that too to give it a little bit of a cleaner look. That's what I did. But whatever you do, it's really up to you. So when you think of your colors, think of something that might match that holiday or maybe your favorite colors or maybe a color that represents how you felt when you saw that thing that you drew. I'm going to be using red and green because Christmas colors and then I'm going to use yellow because I think of yellow and I think of excitement and that's what I get on Christmas. It's all the excitement and all the bright lights and all the rides and getting to see my family. So those are the colors I'm going to go with. And this is my final piece. I really like the way it came out. So if you do this project at home, post a picture in the comments below on the Facebook post because I'd love to see what you created. And if you'd like, you could tell me a little bit of the story of your holiday. Or don't and keep me guessing. I love a good mystery. Whatever you do, I'd love to see it. So please share it with us. And if you're interested in more fun art projects, head over to ringling.org slash learn from home. 
There you can find more art projects and you can even learn more about abstract expressionism and Grace Hardigan and check out a PDF with all of this information and instruction. Thanks for hanging out and making art with me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did and I'll see you next week. Bye!